Uh, what's going on guys? I know it's a different point of view here. Sometimes I do some front facing videos lately. I'm actually outside because it's a beautiful day and wanted to get some vitamin D. So I got my lunch break, I work at home and I thought, you know what, I'll just come out, sit in the sun a little bit, make a video, have my dogs out here playing. Um, so I got a, a new knife in today from Savivi. You can sick, recognize, the, yeah, recognize the package there. This is the Savivi rifle or riffle, uh, two Fs. So maybe rifle, riffle. <laughs> I'm gonna have a hard time with that. I wanna call it rifle because I'm a gun guy, but uh, this is a new knife coming out for 2021 from Civivi budget series, about 55 bucks. Uh, it has micarta handles on this guy. This is the dark green micarta, a 14C 28N blade. Um, it's a flipper and a thumb deployment. It works really well. It's got, so let's go ahead and I'll, I'll, I got some basic specs. They sent me a little, cause this knife hasn't actually been released yet. So, um, this came directly from Savivi. It's part of the Apex Pass Around Group as well. So you'll see this video, or you'll see this knife floating around. Uh, so this one is 7.98 inches overall with a 3.46 inch blade, 4.5 inch handle, 0.122 blade thickness on the stock there, 0.47 thickness on the handle, uh, weighs 3.38 ounces. Again, 14C20N steel, really good budget steel, gonna come around 55 bucks. These are available for pre-order right now on the Blade HQ website. Um, I have no affiliation with Blade HQ, by the way. So just, I just saw it for pre-order there. Probably available in other places for pre-order, you know, as well. Um, stainless steel liner, stainless steel frame, uh, liner lock, excuse me. The B10 is dialed in. I just did that left-handed. I'm not left-handed at all. Um, I can do the middle finger flick left-handed. I can do the flipper, really good deployment. Super, I mean, just the level of quality you get these days for 55 bucks is out. It's insane. Like this used to be, Back in the day, you'd be paying a hundred bus bucks for something like of this quality. Now you're paying half that, um, and they just blow most manufacturers out of the water for budget knives. It's like it's crazy. So it is on ceramic ball bearings. I mean, ceramic bearings on a fifty-five dollar knife. What's this world coming to? <laughs> so really nice, uh, really nice knife, guys. I like it. Here's the deployment with the right hand. Uh, here's the knife in my hand. I wear a medium-sized glove, and it fits perfectly. No hot spot. Got a really neutral handle design, so it's very comfortable in the hand. And no matter what kind of grip you put it in, um, you do have some nice jumping up here on the blade for your thumb to rest on. Jumping on the thumb ramp, always good. Um, guys, this is gonna be a freaking home run. Like 55 bucks, comes in green micarta, dark, dark green micarta, olive green micarta, natural micarta, black G10, and wood handles. I mean, you got tons of options. Most of them are 14C28 steel, but I think the wood is Damascus. So um, if, that's your, if that's your jam, it's not mine, but uh, you know, I like to use my knives in Damascus for some reason, just to me, it doesn't, I don't know. I'd rather have 14C28 over Damascus steel. So let's put it that way. But overall, a really cool knife. Let me go, I got a size comparison or two for you here. I'm doing this different format just because I felt like being outside. So there you go. Um, you've got a the Leon Ma Field Duty EDC. Next to it, you can see it's a little bit bigger than that knife, which is one of my all-time favorites. And another well-known knife that you guys would know well is the Benchmade Bug Out. It's a little bit bigger than the Bug Out, barely, barely bigger. So a couple size comparisons for you guys. Oh, I almost lost the, uh, got a little windy all of a sudden. I almost lost the thing, the specs. So yeah, this is just gonna be an absolute winner for these guys like 55 bucks for this and all those different variations this could very well be one of the better budget knives available um in 2021 like man i tell you i'm doing a video soon on knives under 50 bucks this is just over um but man it's worth that extra five bucks i mean and Savivi just kills it in the budget realm i can't think of one maybe crjb with the feldspar and some of their models competes really well with these and they're even less expensive so, but overall, those two companies are just slaying it right now on the budget knife world. I mean, it's crazy. Crazy what you get for 55 bucks. It's nuts. All this stuff for this much money. This is a fantastic knife. Super comfy. Um, love the micarta. Feels super nice in the hand. Nice grip. Nice and soft. Just, this is, this is a user knife for sure, man. I mean, it's, it's gonna, it's thin behind the edge too. Like, I don't have my calipers handy, but um, look how thin the bevel is. It's a good indication of how thin it behind the edge it is. I would say 15 thousandths, 16 thousandths. I'll have to measure it, um, but that's guesstimating. I can just tell it's really thin, has a nice big belly. It's gonna be a great slicing knife, man. Really high performing, 
budget offering from Civivi. So yeah, I want to just get out, do a quick uh, first impressions video. I just got this in the mail from them today and it's fantastic. I, man, I'm going to have one of these for sure. This is on loan from Civivi to the Apex Pass Around, so this isn't mine. I wish it was mine because I want to keep it, but I got to send it to someone else next, which is a bummer. But I'll have some more time with it, some more pocket time with it, maybe do a full review later. But overall, it's to me, I don't know if I need to because for the cost, it's a no brainer. Pick one up. I mean, when they come out, you have to you, ha you have to buy one of these for 55 bucks for this high performance of a knife, for this good size of a knife. Um, I mean, just, I can't, my first impressions are like, holy cow, this is a budget knife, what? Because I would carry this over some of the more expensive knives I own. I mean, dead serious, this thing is nice. It has a deep carry pocket clip, as you can see here. And uh, my Carter Backspacer, the liners are skeletonized. The, the, the amount of things that they do in these budget knives is crazy because a lot of manufacturers don't even do it on more expensive knives. I mean, look at that CRKT I just reviewed. It's a hundred bucks, it's double the cost of this almost. This thing blows it out of the freaking water, like not even close. So I just, yeah, you know, you guys know, everyone knows CVV really just slays in the budget knife world. So check that thing out. That thing's beautiful, right? All right, guys, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Get in on that pre-order if you want. I don't pre-order knives. I just wait till they come out because you end up waiting longer, I think. Uh, White Mountain Knives, I'm sure will have this. You can use my code 10% off. I'll leave it in the description. I'm sure you can get them on Amazon Prime. I'll leave it those in the, if it's, it's probably not available on there yet, but when it is, I'll add it to the video link. So, all right, guys, thanks for watching this quick video on the Civivi Riffle. Um, definitely could be budget knife of the year. Really, I mean, it's going to be hard to beat. I already said that about the Civivi, some other Civivi. So there's a pattern here. What was that one called? I'm having a uh, pintail, the pintail. This one's a lot less expensive. The pintail did have S35, which is nice, but if you really want a budget knife with a good budget steel, a 14C28 is really, really good. I like it over D2. I like it over um, a lot of other budget steels, and I like, I'm glad to see them using it. So, all right, guys, thanks for watching this video, and we will see you next time.